Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. Malvani Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Pretty sure he's doing other things at the At least he's only here for a few days. Maybe he's an addict. Like that guy last year. Remember him? The state of his room after they kicked him out was just terrible. I don't know what he is. 47. This is one of the Mumbai chores. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. Might be worth looking into. We have a rival assassin in Mumbai, and he's training his sights on Darwood Rangan. By the looks of it, I'd say we're dealing with a local operator known as the Kashmirian. Good thinking, 47. Karen Dahl, aka the Kashmirian, was born in the US, but fled to his mother's native land, India, 20 years ago, following an FBI investigation into a string of serial killings in Texas. He adopted a new identity here and now works as a gun for hire for local mobsters. But who would want Rangan dead? those colors. I mean, how long could it take to smudge out a few blues and reds? I'm creating art here. 70% of the work is finding the right colors. Color mixing is an entire art form on its own. It takes time. Yeah, well, get a move on. Mr. Rongan wants you to go and get him as soon as you're done mixing your fancy colors there. 
Got it? Fine. I wish there was some way out of this mess. Maybe it might make my own way. Hey, Mr. Hussain. Go on upstairs and wait for Mr. Ranger. I'm sure he'll be there shortly. Ah, Mr. Hussain, ready at last. Did you get a shave? Oh, well, never mind. Come with me to the lounge. After you, Mr. Rangan. Hey, what's up? Ah, beautiful. Hey there, sir. Magnificent Hi. use of colors and form. Kya baat hai? If the new piece catches my forceful nature like this, I will have nothing short of a masterpiece on my hands. I'll be the envy of everyone. I guarantee a perfect execution, Mr. Ren. <laughs> Brush strokes, Mr. Ren. You know, this painting is sure to bring you a lot of future work. Hmm. Because once the word gets out and my art appreciating friends see it, your phone will be ringing off the hook. I can't wait. Hold your breath for a moment, Mr. Rangan. That's the reason I told you I wouldn't pay for the commission, by the way. I'm not stingy, no, no, not at all. But if I'm already paying you in exposure, hmm? well, let's not overdo it, you know. I prefer cash over exposure. Clench your fist, please. Who doesn't? But sometimes, exposure can be worth more than just money. Because in this case, it's the gift on giving has to be it is. when you're done with this job the contracts will be rolling in that sounds wonderful mr rangan can you look up a bit thank you Kashmirian is using this room as a base of operations. Let's see what he's up to in here. So, the Kashmirian is scoping out a bridge in an area primarily used as a laundry business. Interesting. It recently changed ownership and now belongs to Vanya Shah. It looks like he's found a new target and is waiting for her to get on the bridge. Perhaps your mentoring days aren't entirely over yet. So, I know he kept logs. Shah will expect me to know them by heart. Uh, how did I end up in a situation like this? I need to use the bathroom. Take a break. You deserve the rest. Did you, you look tired. Why don't you take a break? I think you need a break. Don't wear yourself out. Take five. Take a break. You deserve the rest. I haven't met the new foreman. He's. I'm ready for my meeting with Miss Shah now. Miss Shah's been waiting for this all day. The foreman's ready to meet up with Miss Shah on the bridge. We're heading there now. Follow me to the bridge. <laughs> Miss Shah will be along soon. So, that's the new guy, huh? How long is he going to last, you think? A week? Depends on what the Queen decides to do with him, I guess. 
They look tough enough. Might last a week in the pits. Maybe even two. Maybe he's been working really hard on that report of his. Maybe she'll actually keep him on. I can't imagine that. He's been hiding inside that little office of his all day, afraid to come out. I don't think he has what it takes. <sighs> the new foreman finally graces us with his presence. You behave okay. What do you have to report? I see a lot of dead weight. Hmm. I've made a similar observation. Tell me more. Well, the objective is find the root of the problem, work to get close to it, and then eradicate it. I like your thinking. How would you approach the task you see My usual method is prepare intensely, study the problem, learn everything I can, analyze all approaches, and then, once the objective is in my sights, Perfect execution. Not afraid to spill some blood in the process? Not at all. In fact, I find that happens quite often. I like you, Fu. I think this could be the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. I aim to please, Miss Shah. You think I don't see you down there, little ants? Scurrying about at your own base? Taking unnecessary breaks, drinking my water, wasting my money. You have had it easy up until now. But your new foreman will bring some order to this rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. You hear me? Huh? The Kashmirian is on the move again. It's paid off to follow him so far. Maybe he will lead us to the maelstrom. So just stay still and we'll be done soon. Okay, go on then. What's up? All good? So, you're the one who called. The boss was intrigued. We'll see. Better make it good. I'll do my very best. Come with me. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck.
right, it's just in here. Good luck. This will be over in no time. All good, brother. On your way. Mysterious stranger enters the lion's den. I guess you know who I am by now. The Maelstrom. Indeed. Two of my most trusted allies are dead. Childhood friends. Lifelong companions. And now you're here. I always see my contracts through to the end. <laughs> Admirable. Really, it is. I'm assuming Vanya put out the initial contract that drew you here. She never did like Darwin. Perhaps a power play while our plans are in hiatus? But why kill her then? Unless... Unless Darwin made a counteroffer. That would be the smart move. But then you heard the rumors about the return of the Maelstrom. And so you took a chance. You figured if Darwood was assassinated, I would put two and two together. Eventually, I would have to teach the Slum Queen a lesson. You took it upon yourself to help me before I asked. A show of skill. A move to get to the top. Is that right, boy? You can only kill so many mobsters before wanting bigger challenges. Darwood and Banya lost their way once they returned here to Mumbai. I blame myself for their failures. I should not have let them go back without me. They got lost in their egotistical pursuits. Darwood thinking he could usurp my legend through his movies. Vanya assuming some mythological regency over the people of the slums. They forgot that which mattered the most. What was that? Legacy. In time, you become your actions. Vanya became cruel. Darwood became a hollow man. I wonder what we will become. What shape take in our final days, exposed and roar in the eyes of the universe. We can't stay unseen forever. Death comes for us all, my friend. That it does. Shot came from the chalk, and not even by your hand, 47. Who is this? How did you get this number? The contract on Rangan has been fulfilled. Thank you.
Death comes for us all, my friend. I need to use the bathroom.